Hello YouTube, uh, welcome to another one of my videos. This one's on secular society and whether society can be too secular. Um, it's prompted by a comment from Deer Hunter P in which he asked me my opinions on religion in schools. Uh, I've decided to go a little broader than that and talk about uh, religion in society as a whole. Mainly this is, of course, focusing on the whole uh, burqa issue as was brought to head in France recently. Um, but it, it, it applies to other things as well. Um, for instance, I'm, I'm not sure if many people know this, but um, traditional Catholic wear for women is a headscarf, and traditional Jewish wear for women is a headscarf, a covering of the hair, certainly. Um, now, um, I have moved from the countryside to Manchester, and I've seen an awful lot more um, burqas, hijabs, niqabs, um, and uh, headscarves of all kinds. Um, I've also known a lot more people who wear them and I can certainly say that there are people who wear them because they are forced to by their family. Uh, whether or not their family realise this, um, fear of rejection from their family, of um, the social pressure from their family forces them to wear something they don't want to. And I'll equally well state there are women for whom wearing such headscarves as an important part of their identity as a person, um, as, as, as a person of their faith and um, as, as part of their whole cultural identity as well. Um, so while I of course really don't like the forced by the family thing, and, um, I don't think it's society's place to restrict people's actions and I certainly don't think it's ever society's place to restrict people's uh, religious actions. Um, Going back to the start of my video, when I said too secular, I look at France's attitude and I consider that too secular in that it's restricting people's rights to do religious activities, um, which I feel is wrong just because they've stuck their make-believe thing in there that it suddenly becomes wrong is, is against what a secular society is about. A secular society is about um, laissez-faire when it comes to God, leave it alone. Um, if you look at France, um, they've banned um, the, the wearing of outward signs of religion in schools, um, which I feel is wrong. In banning the outward signs of religious wear, um, France is trying to legislate away cultural divides, um, which obviously it's going to fail at. Whether or not you wear a headscarf in school or not doesn't change what you feel, what you believe and certainly doesn't change your self-identity. Um, I agree with France's goal that um, it would be nice to have a world in which no one was divided along these sectarian lines, but I completely disagree with the way they're going about it. Um, in Deer Hunter P's message to me, uh, he asked, um, is this too religious for the secular world that atheists desire? Um, and I'm going to talk about the world that atheists desire, which I would envision as a world free from religion, and the secular world. Uh, the world that certainly I as an atheist desire, and I'll challenge anyone who wants to enforce their views on someone else as a bigot and a totalitarian, um, is a world in which people choose not to have religion, uh, choose to instead make views based on their own internal moral compass and uh, society's morality as a whole. Um, and the secular world is a world free of blue laws, of um, religious enforced behaviour of, if you look at um, Egypt for example, only certain religions are allowed. If you look at uh, Saudi Arabia as the worst example, um, religious mandated torture and mutilation. The secular world is one in which you can do what you choose. I envision the secular world as a world of most freedom and of the government not saying either way. If a government says there isn't a god, that's not a secular government. A government that's a secular government refuses to make a comment on it, and that's the way it should be. Government is something we all do together, and so it should be decided to support all of us together. Making any statement on god, the nature of god or gods, is divisive and divides us. So when a society is too secular, it stops being secular if you see my point.